Hello, welcome back. As you see, I sound a little bit down because it's a really emotional day today about civilian buses leaving TFL Network. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So I'm going to read the letter first, which is from Dean Sullivan, who's the owner of Civilians. After a discussion with TFL this afternoon, we have decided to withdraw from all TFL contracts effectively from closer traffic tonight. I have been concerned for some time about TFL's ability to ensure that the remuneration for their contracts keep pace with the costs of service delivery. As the country recovered from COVID, we saw a significant spike in inf inflation and a rise in traffic congestion. As a result, we were looking for investment and a suitable cost adjustment to counter the effects on our customers, staff and business. There's more details on this in my press release, which I will post in due course. We have enjoyed working in London, but in a recent meeting with TfL, they made it clear that civilian buses were an unwelcome partner in the delivery of services in London. It's now so severe that we cannot no longer ignore the message. We will continue with commercial and we will grow commercial. I've missed many opportunities on the way as a result, perhaps being too focused on TfL work. My heart is in all three, TfL, rail and commercial, but they all need to be sustainable. And of course, you need to feel included. Sad, sadly, with TfL of late, we have felt very excluded. So yeah, um, it's been a really sad day because like, they are the only independent operator in the um, TfL network. But yeah, the routes are gonna have to go to other operators temporarily. Which I don't know how I feel to be honest. It's a really sad day. And yeah, and there's another letter he put. Following a meeting with Transport for London TfL, we have reluctantly decided to withdraw from our TfL contracts from Friday night, 2nd of August. Pressures on TfL's funding have had clearly had a direct impact on our decision. Unfortunately, the, the remuneration for providing TfL services have not kept pace with the increasing cost of service delivery. In addition, in the, sorry, in addition, financial penalties as a result of the increase in traffic congestion post-COVID has further impacted on the viability of our TfL contracts. At, at civilian buses, we have a number of contracts due to expire early next year. Under normal circumstances, large businesses will have to continue to renew contracts throughout the year. Therefore, the increased rates on new services would help to mitigate against any losses experienced on expiring contracts. Nonetheless, despite tendering for numerous services, civilian bosses have not been successful in renewing our contracts. TfL have also failed to provide us with any meaningful feedback on tenders submitted. In June, we met with TfL representatives to discuss this and other issues the business was facing. TfL told us they struggled to incorporate small businesses such as ours with their, within their corporate model. Civilian Bus is the only small business SME operating bus services for TfL in London. At that meeting, we were unable to agree a way forward. The meeting ended with TfL requesting a date for our business to hand back all contracts. At the time of the meeting in June, TfL owned our business over £130,000. This is a considerable sum of money for a small business and the lack of these funds had undoubtedly impacted our ability to deliver the contracted services. Although the matter was resolved shortly afterwards, but not before TfL asked if they could repay in instalments. Coupled with delays in payments by TfL, We've decided we can no longer sustain the further cuts necessary to meet the decreasing income received by TfL. Any inevitable reduction in funding will lead to a further decline in performance and this is not something we are willing to support. During our discussion today, we have offered TfL a solution that would alleviate um, travel disruption for many thousands of bus users. TfL have assured us they'll be working to restore services as quickly as possible. Our commercial operations in her Hertfordshire are unaffected and will continue to operate as normal. Furthermore, we are looking forward to once operate developing our work outside of the capital by Dean Sutherland. So the TfL routes are affected 217, 298, 299, 
327 389 399 W9, 605, 606, 617, 629, and 549. So, yeah, we've lost so many operators over the last few years, which we lost Tower Transit and HCT, sorry, HCT Group back in 2022, which Stagecoach bought lean to change, and Westbourne Park got bought by um, RITP Group, and then um, Wovenstar Avenue and um, Ashgrove from HCT Group have um, been bought by Stagecoach which I don't know where these routes are going to, but yeah, sad to see another operator go. And yeah, thank you guys. And see you soon. Take care.